Luka Ivanovic, LA Knight striker. Luka, uh, obviously it's been a pretty well wind about 12 months for you. How do you feel going into an NPL Grand Final? Yeah, probably my first final in club football, so don't know what to expect or how to feel. Just going to come out, play my game and get around the team and hopefully get the win. Jesse, uh, just now, but obviously a lot of people around the league are going, well, Adelaide United, mm. the professional footballers, they're yeah. expected to win. How do you sort of cope with that level of expectation? Yeah, we don't, we don't really think about stuff like that. So we just come out and we play our football and we let our football do the talking. That's it. What's the uh, vibe been like? Obviously, you've got a lot of young players mm. in, in the senior team, so mm. now you've got a, a strong camaraderie. What's uh, this season been like at NPL level? We... We had a good start to the season, but we lost like many players midway through the season to the A-League team and many of us went on break. But now that we're all coming back to play in Peel for the finals, that's our main focus right now, just to go all the way. And in terms of your football, you've been scoring plenty of goals at NPL level. What's been the sort of key behind this sort of six months you've had going from the back of the A-League season when you broke through to, mm. to now? No, just continue scoring as many times as I can and yeah, that's all. And uh, Lurie Dorigo, of course, mm. he, uh, he's moved, got announced in that. Uh, how do you feel about him going? Are you, are you happy to, to see him move on, challenge himself in Europe? Yeah, of course. Um, Lurie is a close mate of mine and obviously it's a big miss to, to lose him in our team. He's going to be a hard one to replace, but yeah, hope he does well there. And now, uh, there's not been any incomings in terms of transfers. Do you feel like you might need someone to, to replace him? Well, I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. No comment. <laughs> um, Luca, the the NPL team the last couple of years have been mm. really down the bottom, kind of struggling mm. for relegation. How do you like reflect on the journey now to be in the grand final and actually competing for silverware? Yeah, it's been just trusting Ayrton and his work. Obviously, when he first came in, we were bad in relegation every year. And now that we've all gotten a bit older and more experienced, we're, we're just playing under his belt now and it's working. You've played at this ground most of the season, most of your mm. home games. How are you feeling coming into this? A bit more confident um, that you've, you're all, uh, more mm. confident on this ground? Yeah, you? it helps that. definitely helps that this is our home ground. and helps. You see, that was a pretty scary moment earlier in the final series. I know Carl mm. Beat has come out and said that maybe it was a bit of a beat up when you were mm. on the pitch and you saw what happened to, to Nestor in that mm. incident. What was your perspective? I didn't really see what happened because I was making a I was making a run and then yeah, I saw like everyone getting around him. So I just came in to see what's happening and then when I saw he might have been serious, I just stepped away and let them do their job. Just on the game itself. Um, because it's uncharted territory for you and my brief. Mm. So how do you see it in terms of, do you feel like you can come out and, and play your football and get on the front foot? Or you know, how, how do you see the game kind of playing out? Yeah, I feel like when when we're on our day, like we're, we can be an unstoppable team. And we have most of our team playing, we, we can, we're a very hard team to play against. What was your reaction like on the weekend going into this game? Um, winning that game against Campbell Town City the way you did, what was it like for the boys to yeah. Um, after that match, everyone was buzzing, but we can't get too happy and can't get too complacent because, like, the job's not done. It's still one more game left, so, so we'll just remain focused, and that's it.